Okay, folks, welcome back. This is question number two in top questions for COM2 to answer about the game. I thought I'd tackle a a simpler one this time because the question that I'd really like to get to is going to require a lot of preparation and some charts and examples and things. I just haven't gotten around to that one yet. Probably going to take me a long time. Nonetheless, the question that I want to ask this time is what are the hidden attributes on a card? And now, before any of you get too interested in this, this is not going to go the way you you might think it is because I'm actually going to get a, on a bit of a soapbox first about this before I go into some more detail. And that is, I actually don't believe in hidden stats on a card or hidden attributes. Uh, if you're a programmer or a developer side of things, they'd be they'd be attributes of the card. And I don't believe in these. Uh, a lot of people like to think. Oh, you know, is there an attribute that represents his, I don't know, his ability to bunt or drag bunt or his diving ability on the field or, uh, you know, all sorts of different crazy things. Because as baseball fans, we like to think that, oh, you know, when he's, is there lefty righty, uh, you know, factored in. And what I'm going to tell you is, the likelihood is, and I can play, say this with fairly high degree of certainty, is that these things are not implemented in the game. And the reason for this is you have to understand that not only is this a, a simulation of a game, a baseball game, a simulation of a sport, an app, so it's a program, <clears throat> not the actual ga- game. The last thing to understand is or an additional thing to understand is that this is a product it's something that is sold well the game itself is not sold but they sell items in the game meaning it's something that's meant to make profit okay so at the end of the day it's the shareholders and the people that they're trying to show profitability to that are going to be driving the game behind things so if it's something that's going to implement influence profitability, it's not going to be something that's going to be a high priority, and more than likely it's going to be something they're going to try and remove. So when you introduce additional factors such as attributes, lefty, righty, all these types of things, those translate into additional test cases that need to be tested before they can actually uh, release the game. So if you make a small change in the code and you introduce some new factor to the game or and even just between each revision of the game you have to test things and you have to test all these potentially hidden attributes and it just adds so much more to the cost of testing that it's simply not something that they're going to want to have into effect, in effect in the game. It just decreases profitability. Therefore, you know, all these concepts of hidden attributes and these types of things largely do not exist. Now, why am I even making this video and asking what are the hidden attributes if I don't believe they exist? I have to admit that there are some that exist, and I will show you now. So all of that talk, just to show you one small thing, and actually uh, expose a new feature in today's release that uh, is really cool. So, okay, looking at pictures, uh, I happen to have two Palmer, I have two sales, but I can't use him as, as an example. Uh, for a reason that I mentioned in the other video that um, when you GI a live card, the grade increase distribution you get is different from the, what you might end up with at the end of the season. Okay, we're going to compare two Pomerans here. First thing I'm going to point out to you is a cool new feature, basic stats. We can now compare the can compare base cards. This allows you to make decisions about which player is better because you can compare the base card or the basic card without being distracted by all these additional numbers, okay? Because these two cards, their basic cards are the same, but you can see that they have uh, different grade increase numbers, etc. And just to recap on things that a lot of you should probably already know, is that when we look at these numbers and we look at enhancement and all these numbers that they uh, added and the totals that we added, the uh, those 
can vary between card to card, specifically the grade increase line. Notice this, the one on the left is a 69 total and the one on the right is a 62 total. We can tell that that's the better card, but the base card is the same. All right, now getting back to what I wanted to uh, point out to you. Hidden attributes on a card. There exist for each card a set of numbers that represent the ratio or the distribution of the grade increase numbers as you grade it up. So the one on the left has a higher grade increase, but if you look at the grade numbers, they are proportionately going to be distributed amongst the, the ratings uh, equal. So, or, you know, uh, the proportions are going to be rated the same between the two cards. So, uh, the highest proportion or allocation is on the left card is to location and velocity and understanding that these are going to be percentages so they're going to have to be some rounding in effect here uh, you can see that on the right hand card the highest distribution is also to location and velocity and if we travel on down the line you can see that the distribution of numbers is going to be fairly similar and this is going to be the, the same consistent across all types of cards if i compared i wish i had another set of duplicate cards that i could show you let me scan and just make sure that i don't have any other Duplicate cards. Oh, hey. Is this going to be a sufficient example? Compare Addison Reed. Okay. His biggest numbers. Yeah, I guess this is. This is a good example. Here we go. Uh, two 17 Reed cards. The distribution on him, largest on the gold, is to fastball and location. And similarly, on the right-hand card, it is also fastball and location. And proportionately, you're going to find that those numbers are going to be comparable. So, there are hidden attributes that represent how the grade increase numbers are going to be distributed as he grades up and his grade numbers get larger. Those are examples of hidden attributes. We can't see them anywhere on the card, yet we can see them in effect. Beyond that, the question is, are there any additional hidden attributes that we uh, are not aware of? My belief is that there are not any others, but if there are, they would influence the game and how we work with our cards, and this is information that we need to know. Okay, that is the end of this episode, and hopefully that new cool new little feature you'll find useful. I probably actually am going to make a new video about specifically that and how to compare cards with the new version of the game. But anyways, enjoy, and hopefully I can get around to the other question at some point. It's a pretty daunting task. You'll see what I mean when I ultimately make that video. Good luck in your uh, play, and goodbye for now.